fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I'm like totally blissed out with this. It really feels like the perfect way to have a bite of Vancouver. I'm in Vancouver and it's my first time in Canada. I'm so excited to be here. I'm meeting up with my friend Pearl, who runs the Instagram Pearl the Foodie. She's gonna show me all around the city. I'm gonna try poutine for the first time. We're going to her favorite ramen spot and then we're gonna have a meal on top of a mountain. Let's go meet her. So nice to see you. So good to see you. And welcome to Vancouver. Thank you so much. So here we're at Granville Island, one of the most popular places in Vancouver. It looks so vibrant. There's so much going on. Yeah, I'm so excited for you to be here. So the first place I want to bring you to is Edible Canada. Okay, cool. So let's go. Hi, I'm Eric Pateman, president and founder of Edible Canada, right here on Granville Island in beautiful British Columbia. Edible Canada is a group of companies that uh, has restaurants, retail stores, and a culinary travel division, all focused on showcasing the best of Canada. One of our signature dishes is bison poutine. It comes from Quebec, it's cheese curds, gravy, on top of french fries. We do a couple fried eggs on top, and you break the yolks, and that yolk sort of runs all through the dish, and you got that with the cheese. When we think of Canada, and we think of Canadian cuisine, we think of food in the hands of many cultures, and obviously bison was one of the first things to roam this country, so this is really all about the ultimate Canadian comfort food. <laughs> I mean, this looks crazy. Wow, first time trying bison. I mean, I've heard it's a lean meat, but the gravy, I was worried that it was gonna make the fries too soggy, but it's actually like the perfect consistency. The egg yolk with it is just makes it more creamy. I like how it has like a meaty texture and it's like lean. French fries is already kind of indulgent, so if you add like a lean meat, it kind of balances things out. Also these crispy onions on top, it's just like elevates it a little more. Yeah, gives it a little bit of a crisp. Yeah, I can imagine that like on a cold winter Canadian night, yeah. that like this is exactly what you want. So it's your first time having bison poutine, what do you think about it? I love it. This is the perfect way to start my first day in Canada. Thank you so much. I would love to go explore the rest of the market and see like what else is here. Yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. We're about to go in Granville Public Market. What's your favorite stall in here? So I really love the fruit stalls and there's ice cream and there's seafood. The oysters are really good. Oh my god. We're on the suspension bridge. How far off the ground are we? We are about 70 meters above the ground. Whoa. And the bridge is about 450 feet long. So we're in this beautiful forest yeah. now. It's so nice here and it's like really good to come over here just to relax and everything and just like take a break from like the city life. So I truly think that this is one of BC's biggest gems. Everyone's enjoying it mm -hmm. and is so blown away by how beautiful this is. So we're coming to the Maritama in Vancouver, and this is actually one of my favorite ramen places in town, and I always bring my friends here. Awesome, let's try it. Hi, my name is Tatsushi Koizumi. I'm a director of Marutama Ramen Canada. Marutama is uh, the ramen joint. We started the business from 2001 from Japan and came to Canada 2013. Our signature ramen is a tamago ramen. Some people recognize ramen using the, the pork bone, but uh, our signature is chicken blows. We make everything in the house, which is including the noodle. The ramen noodle made from flowers and lime water to make Make the noodle as a Chinese noodle. It has more texture, chewy texture. We mix the dough and we let it stay and flatten the dough and then cut the, the noodle. It's simple but delicate process to make it. Our ramen is uh, pretty simple. The blocks and noodles, of course, and the chashu meat, which is simmered for uh, more than three hours, so tender and juicy. Aosa seaweed, it's a type of the seaweed, and it gives the hint of a seafood flavor. And people love the egg, half runny yolk inside, and marinate with the soy base, that's amazing. When customers come to the restaurant, our staff the welcome them in Japanese way, Rashaima said, so giving them more the warm feeling. And once customers get in, they can see that we make the noodle in the open kitchen. Our signature is skin blows. The people notice that it's more the light but comfortable taste. A few days later, people are craving our ramen again. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. It smells so good. It's like a chicken is hugging you. Yes. It's, it's amazing. It's like perfect for the winter. Yes. 
And so in Japan, it's actually respectful to slurp your noodles. Yes. This is really, really, really good. The broth is creamy, it's flavorful, it's really rich, but it's really rich. It's still really light. Because of the chicken, it doesn't feel too heavy, whereas yeah. like a pork tonkatsu situation can sometimes feel a little overpowering. And I definitely find that at a lot of random places. Mm. After you finish eating it, you feel kind of sick because it's too rich. Mm. For this one, it's still equally rich and creamy, but it's still it's quite light, so you feel good afterwards. Also, the handmade noodles are so, so good. They have the right amount of spring. You have to try the egg. It's marinated on the outside, but it's also marinated in the inside. Mm. So you can taste the soy sauce flavor and the yolk totally. as well. This is an exceptional bowl of ramen. And it's almost as if like mm. you teleported to Japan, but you're still in Vancouver, which is something I think we're really lucky about for in Vancouver, because we're really multicultural and we're blessed with all these like Japanese, Chinese. They're kicking it at it. Today at Grouse Mountain for the VIP experience and I'm super excited to try it out. We're in a forest. How are we getting to the top of this massive mountain? So people usually hike up there. It's gonna take a couple of hours depending how good you are, but we're <laughs> actually gonna take the gondola today. Okay, gondola feels like a much better idea yeah. for us. It's hard to imagine that there's a restaurant at the top of this massive mountain, but I can't wait to see. So this is one of the most exquisite dining places in Vancouver and there's so many activities to do. You can look at bears, you can go snowboarding or skiing in the winter. I've never eaten anywhere like this. This is so, so cool. Hello, my name is Dino Gazzola. I'm the food and beverage director here at Grouse Mountain Resorts in North Vancouver, British Columbia. The Observatory is our fine dining restaurant showcasing the best of what we offer here in BC, local, organic, sustainable cuisine. If you look at the setting we have, it's absolutely exemplary up here. Everything that we produce here, you can basically see out here in the valley. I mean, you get a good overview of where everything comes from and what we serve here in the Observatory. The first course will be a chilled sorrel and compressed fennel soup. So it's made with local sorrel that we get from a farm out in Aldergrove. That is, again, comprised with a vegetable-based stock. It's garnished with some lemon verbena yogurt. That's our tapioca crisp. So that's basically just dehydrated tapioca pearls. It really just speaks of what's local, what's fresh, and usually in season. It's a great dish. It's chilled. It encompasses everything BC, and it works well this time of year. Ooh. Enjoy it. It's so bright, and it looks so vibrant. Wow. wow. This is really refreshing. You know, sorrel like, kind of has this like citrusy note. It feels almost like a smoothie, but in a savory way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they've got this great tapioca puff, so there's yeah, this little crunchy, crunchy, yeah, the little crunchy mm -hmm. element with this like smooth soup. Yeah. It kind of ties it all in in this really interesting way. And I think it really breaks up the texture. Mm -hmm. You get more like different layers of texture in it. I feel like this is a really good way to open up your appetite before the meal. Definitely. That'll be followed by a organic grain-fed flat iron steak. The steak is a flat iron steak that we source from Two Rivers Meat, so it's taken from the shoulder blade, basically, of, of cattle. Potato prep is just a peeled potato that we poach it first in duck fat. From that point there, we're just gonna sear it off, get some color to it, and then finish it off in the oven. So just a simple preparation for the accompanying vegetables, just a little butter, and again, those are just juvenile vegetables from BC. Just getting a lot of that nice sort of brown butter over the vegetables, that's another level of flavor to it. So you'll give that one last hard sear, add that butter in there, and the butter will start to brown, you'll give that a nice base. That's served with a parsnip puree, potato fondant, kale from our garden, and then the last component is the bone marrow juice. So that's a veal stock that we make in house. We then reduce that veal stock down with lots of aromatic vegetables and herbs and lots of red wine. I really love the dish. I mean, it's really got some really nice flavor to it and some really nice texture. It's really tender. I love how it's seared and it's like slightly crispy it's on the Slightly top. crispy. You really get that duck fat flavor mm. coming through the potato. It's really nice to have these fresh vegetables along with something heavier like a duck fat potato. And it kind of makes it feel like a more balanced meal. It's like a whole complete perfect set. Totally. The meat is perfectly cooked. The jus all around it, which is basically yes. a reduction. Everything feels like buttery and smooth, but then you have the lightness of the vegetables. But similarly to the poutine, I feel like we could be having this on a cold Canadian night. And really warm you up. Really warm yes. you up. To finish off, we're going to have a local rhubarb tart. So we're just going to plate up our rhubarb tart. Rhubarb has been slightly poached in simple syrup. Really, again, brings out some of the really nice flavors to it. And we further have a garnish of a hibiscus tweel. So that's made with isomalt sugar, which is just a modified sugar, so it stays nice and clear and has that really nice color to it. Then to finish it off, we have our hibiscus sorbet and candied rhubarb. 
Very few components, but nice, simple, fresh, seasonal. We love it. Wow. wow. It looks like a work of art. It's so delicate. Wow. There's so much happening. You know, rhubarb can be sometimes a little too tart. This feels perfectly just the right amount of sweetness. I'm a big, big fan of this. So this is kind of an example of what's in season right now. There's a lot of rhubarb desserts in Vancouver, especially mm. in the summer. Mm -hmm. I also love, I mean, this like little glassy rhubarb. Mm. It's beautiful. It's definitely a really fun piece to eat. Mm -hmm. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> it's like a rhubarb Jolly Rancher. Like a really elegant Jolly Rancher. It's like bursting with flavor. It really is. This is yeah. so lovely. I think this is my favorite course that we've had. I had so many awesome experiences to choose from in Vancouver, and now I get to choose how to pay for them with Pay It Planet from American Express. I feel so lucky to have you as my tour guide. And I'm so glad you came to Vancouver to visit us. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>